Hello everyone, I am Akshay Sri and I am currently pursuing B.Tech from Galgotias University and I am in second year B.Tech CSE. So I am here to represent my presentation on the given topic that is iris detection. So first of all, I will start my presentation from Excel sheet. So now I am going to represent my Excel sheet. So here is my Excel sheet. Here is a data set. This data set I have uh, downloaded from the uh, Kaggle website. We have total 1200 entries over here and we have four columns over here. So the first column down, uh, 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 first column is Aries flower sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. And, and the last column is the output that with type of flower it is. We have, we have four type of flower. This is Tosa, it is Tosa, it is versicolor. It is Virginica and the fourth one it is Versicolor and and last is it is Virginica. So we have all uh, 1200 entries over here and just I will move to Google Collab where we have written the code. First of all we will import our data set so that we can train our data, train our machine and test our machine. Just we will click over uh, here and uh, we go we will just click on data set okay. as we can see our data set, is, set has been uploaded we will check now first we will import all the necessary libraries which are imported for our project so just we are importing numpy for arrays we are importing math plot for plotting the graph. We are uh, using Seaborn and Pandas for data visualization and data manipulation. Just we will run our this code. As we can see, this has been run successfully. Now in columns, we have passed. Uh, we have make a make a variable column, and which we have passed five elements in list. Just we run this. This uh, this code of this code block have been successful. That means that our data set has been uh, completely transported to the uh, Google Colab. Here the data set is in form of CSV, comma separated separated values. Uh, here just uh, we have described the function using head function. Here sepal and sepal width, petal width, petal width, and class tables have been described. Here we have passed the head value to a that's why all data have been described below. After that, we will visualize our data set using describe function. Uh, here we will just find the count, mean, standard, minimum, 25% of entire data, 50% of entire data, entire data, 75% of entire data, and maximum value in the entire data we will compute for the analysis. Uh, after that, we will visualize the whole data set. Uh, in this, we have passed two parameter, the df and the class tables. Here we can see the 16 graphs have been plotted. The reason of our plotting of 16 graphs because each, each parameter have been plot, plotted against each other. Here in the first graph, we can analyze that the blue color flower has the highest sepal length. So the blue color, color flower belongs to Irisetosa. Then we can conclude that the blue color flower Irisetosa has the highest sepal length between it is versicolor in it is virginica. In the second graph, we can easily conclude that the blue color flower is easily differentiable amongst the other both colors. So we can easily conclude that it is setosa can be easily differentiable, like it is equally differentiable amongst the both flowers. In in the second graph, we can find out the sepal length of green color flower have has the highest sepal width. So we can conclude that Iris Virginica have the highest sepal width. In the third third graph, we can also find the petal petal length also. Then we can conclude Iris Setosa have the highest petal length. In fourth graph, we can see the highest petal length of which flower we have. Then we have developed the correlation graph between all the things. We have to, we are drawing these graph for better understanding or with better data visualization. We are just separating input and output columns here. Here we will use slicing for input and output columns over here. Then we are separating the data into training and testing part. We are 
is separating data because we have we have to test separate data so that we can train our uh, data and train our model and uh, then test our model here we are uh, taking test size equals to 0 0.2 which means that we are using 80 percent data for training the model and 20 percent data for testing the model after that we will print x train then x x train have been plotted then we will import sklearn module and from sklearn we will import test train split and here we will just pass test size equals to 0 0.2 then by train is printed over here after that from sklearn module we have imported x train and x train we have imported uh, train test split uh, uh, and we have printed x, x test then x test has been uh, shown over here after that now we will just use our machine learning algorithm for training our model and then we will test on with the 20 percent of that data here we are using first uh, algorithm is support vector machine here this first of all we will train our model uh, just here we are training our model from sklearn uh, we import svc and we pass two parameter x train and y train just we will test our data then we can uh, we are training our model we can see that model has been trained successfully now we will test 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 that uh, predict the uh, data so we have passed here two parameters x text and prediction one and we have multiplied for, for uh, with 100 because we want the percentage accuracy percentage of the data so here uh, we can see that 99 point one six percent accuracy our machine learning algorithm support vector machine have developed up because every row have input and output data have been same over there but one entry is there which didn't have the same input output data uh, that's why we have got the accuracy of uh, uh, of 99.16 uh, the second mach machine learning algorithm is logistic regression here first we will train our model we will import S, uh, from SQL and we will import logistic regression. We, again, we will pass two parameters X train and Y train. Just we will just uh, train our model and we can see is, it is successfully run the code. Now we will just pass two peri parameter Y test and prediction 2 for prediction the model. In, in this, we can easily see that our uh, the accuracy of the result is 99.58. That means all the entries have matched, only one values are incorrect in, in, in this uh, sequence. After that, we, we will uh, apply the third machine learning algorithm is decision tree classifier. Here also we will import, uh, import decision tree classifier from SQLearn module. Here we have, uh, uh, have successfully trained the model. Now we will predict the model. Uh, here we uh, uh, also pass Y test and prediction 3 and we will multiply by 100 for getting the percentage here also we get the 99.16 percentage now we will go for machine algorithm 4 knn classifier k nearest neighbor here we have taken n neighbors value 3 that means they will form the three clusters over here and first of all we will run these codes as we can see the codes have been run successfully now we will train classifier the module have been successfully trained now we will evaluate the model now the model has been then we will test test it if successfully run after that we will find out the accuracy score of the model for accuracy score we from sklearn model we import as accuracy score and here we pass to perimeter x test and y print uh, uh, when we run these codes we get a hundred percent accuracy because our machine learning model have been trained very successfully then we uh, built a classification report of the entire project uh, when we uh, build the classification we get the precise precision value recall value equal score support value of the flowers after that now we will test our machine learning model here we will give the random input uh, input values after that our machine have predicted the flower is iris setosa iris versicolor and iris virginica and machine have predicted that 
and that's all thank you for watching